Hey, what's up, Unbroken Nation? The thing that I had to do was just continue. You have to just continue. The thing that people really, really miss out on is the fact that when you keep going forward, when you do not stop, when you make a declaration that no matter what, you're going to create the life that you want to have, you cannot lose. You cannot lose. You only lose if you stop. And it's not that you don't have days where you fall backwards. It's not that you don't have days where you don't fuck up. Guys, I fuck up all the time. I've ruined relationships. I've been massively in debt. I've been morbidly obese. I've dealt with alcohol and drugs and, and, and addictions. I, I cannot even begin to get into because we don't have enough time. I've self-sabotaged. I've hurt people. I've lied to myself. I've been the opposite of everything that I'm talking about right now. So let me tell you this. This is not me preaching at you. This is me telling you as a peer, as a friend, as someone who is walking this path and this journey with you, that I have suffered and I have been through hell and back. I've known my best friends to get murdered. I have been homeless. I have done things that if I even told you, I think I might go to jail still for doing them, right? And so I recognize that I understand how difficult this journey is. When I was four years old and my mother cut off my finger and my stepfather beat me and put me in the hospital, we spent my childhood homeless. The only thing that I knew was that one day life would be different, but you have to decide, you have to make that declaration. Nobody else is doing this for you. Nobody's coming to rescue you. Nobody's coming to save you. Nobody's going to knock on your door and say, God, how's that healing journey going? I hope that you really overcome all that childhood trauma and abuse that you had so that you can become the hero of your own story. Nobody's going to do that but you. That's why I created Think Unbroken almost five years ago, because I recognize that. I recognize if I can give people the same tools that I've used to change my life, we can change the world. And so that's why we're doing Unbroken Con for free. So if you go to unbrokencon.com, you can register. It's going to be in November. It's a five-day trauma transformation event. We're going to be announcing speakers soon. We're going to be announcing exact dates and times soon. We're going to be announcing all the things very soon. Um, but I want you to know that the most important thing that you can do today, right now, in this moment, is go look in that damn mirror and ask yourself, what do I need? And the truth is that when you ask yourself that question, fear is going to come up. The fear response, because what you need is unknown to you. You have not experienced, you have not seen it, you have not felt it, you do not know the unknown. And your body and brain's biological response to that stressor is for you to backtrack, to revert to old behavior patterns, to self-sabotage, to destroy relationships, career, money, finances, friendships, your body, your mental, your physical health. But in that moment, if you want to close that gap between what do I need and facing the fear and ultimately becoming the person that you know you're capable of becoming, you must hold yourself accountable to follow through it despite the fact that it's going to be painful, despite the fact that it's going to suck, despite the fact that it's going to be really and realistically the hardest thing that you've ever done because I promise you. I promise you, swear to God, I'm not joking with you. On the backside of making the most difficult decision of your life is the most beautiful experience that you will ever have. I'm living proof of that. Hundreds and thousands of people who've gone through Think Unbroken are living proof of that. Millions of people around the world are living proof of that. The difference between success and failure in life is holding yourself to the fire and saying, I'm willing to walk through this no matter what.